Okay, this video might look a little bit different and it's going to be very short. I am comparing the previous uh, screen recording software that I was using, Camtasia Studio 2, I believe, for the Mac, and I've been unhappy with it. I can show you why here in a little bit. Um, this uh, is what I'm using now is TechSmith's um, ScreenFlow. And it was recommended by uh, Mikey Borup, who does After Effects tutorials. I'll put a link in the description. And he said that's what he would use. Um, and so I'm uh, going to do a quick little review of it, maybe a sort of a comparison between Camtasia and uh, ScreenFlow. So I will go to take a look at um, my Camtasia timeline and the big push the real reason why I'm switching from Camtasia to the ScreenFlow is because as you look here I've got this hour plus long video and it, it is so detailed and what I'm doing is uh, illustrator tutorials for beginners people who don't know the software and so in order for them to understand and know what's going on, I have all of these little call outs for the, uh, the actions that are happening with the keyboard. And as I you know, scrub through this, you can see I've got alt button being pressed or held down while things are going on with the mouse. I've got shortcut keys. I've got um, key pressing and, and holding and things like that. And the big frustration is, as you can see, all of these that I've had to do, I've had to do because they weren't part of the keystroke effect that you can drop into Camtasia. Now, their disclaimer is blah, blah, blah. We don't want people, ha it's a big security risk. You could capture the password or whatever, but I'm looking at it and going, you, that's ridiculous. Who is going to sit there and record their screen and type in their password um, and share that for the world to know? Okay, maybe some people would do that and I, you know, their accidents do happen. So put it as a feature, as a preference that you can say, I want to capture everything. Uh, as I go to um, ScreenFlow, that's an option. I can show all keys or I can show only modified modifier keys. That's an option that I can add. Um, and, and I can turn it off, I can turn it on, I can use it whenever I want to. With Camtasia, it's you can drag the, uh, the keystroke functionality into your timeline, but then it's only anything that has uh, basically a control or a command button being pressed with it or a delete key or an escape key. I mean, honestly, if I want to switch tools in Illustrator from say the mark, uh, the rectangle tool to the ellipse tool, and I want to teach somebody how to do that without going all the way over to the toolbar, or you know, whatever my reasoning is, give them the shortcut keys. Well, I can't do that without putting a big, you know, all of the, each individual time I press a different key that's not going to be captured and, and so that's that's just a pain it, it's one thing that I it, I finally I've used Camtasia for years I used Snagit since 99 so I've used their software for a long time and I anytime somebody said hey I need to record something Back before uh, recording games was even big, I used to do Ultima Online. So 1999, uh, I would record what was going on in, um, in game and record conversations and do things like that and have fun little movie clips. I was doing that back in 99. So y you can't tell me that it's not possible to record what's being done on the screen. A and anyway, whatever, security risk, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm done with Camtasia. Thank you for a few good years, but the love has not been, you know, no love lost here. I'm, I'm going to work with uh, ScreenFlow and uh, 
that will be the 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 screen capture software that I use from here on out. So thanks for watching. Uh, just wanted to show you some things with that. So here's the interface from ScreenFlow. And as you can see, I've got the uh, screen recording tab open. I can increase the uh, pointer size. I've got it to uh, about 167. I'm going to go 100. 75% uh, just because again I'm working with folks who are uh, new to Adobe Illustrator and it sometimes might be difficult to see the the mouse pointer on the screen I'm gonna add the uh, click effect as radar and I'm going to do the uh, oh, the sound on click so it's gonna play a click when the uh, screen is being recorded when the mouse is being recorded and there's a click so apparently I need to have a click in there so I'll just leave that off for now um, show the keystrokes this is the most important this is the reason again why I'm coming to uh, screen flow um, I'm going to click that on I'm going to show all keys in this case because I'm smart enough to not type in my passwords or things like that and I'm only going to be recording uh, the screen capture of my tutorials in Ad Adobe Illustrator um, I could do the option to show only modifier keys and and mention that um, and then I'll show you what that all looks like so I've now added that to the uh, timeline and I'm going to switch over to Adobe Illustrator uh, this is a part of a tutorial I've done uh, just recently uh, with the shapes and editing shapes and so I'm going to hold down the space bar to scroll my screen and that's something that wasn't being captured by Camtasia um, I'm going to just hold down the command button to enable the uh, direct selection or the selection tool whichever I had so here it is and then I can let go of that I can click it again and drag and you can see that it's it's being clicked you can't see that it's being held down I wish that was a, a, a duration that it would do um, but then you can also see my mouse clicks and what I'm doing with that I can uh, change tools from the uh, pen uh, to the pen tool here and that's convenient I could uh, select and then delete points add points switch my tools and that's something that if I was just clicking like for example the uh, the um, when I wanted the the curvature tool which is shift C if I did that on the other uh, or excuse me the convert anchor point tool uh, if I did that with Camtasia you wouldn't see any of the shift C you would only see um, that the uh, the cursor changed so anyway um, I'm gonna convert that back to a point um, let's zoom all the way out of all artboards command shift or excuse me command alt uh, zero control alt zero on your PC and switch to the selection tool and change this to the default colors if I did that on Camtasia you wouldn't see the press of D so anyway I think I like it a whole lot better I'm gonna find some a better font that uh, looks convenient for uh, this this project and uh, I will continue using this thanks thank you uh, ScreenFlow, folks. So as you saw right there, I was wrong. Apparently with the space bar, it would not uh, persistent or persistently remain on screen, but if I was holding the modifiers like Shift or, or excuse me, Command or Control, Alt or Shift, they will all stay on the screen as long as I have them held down and you'll see that uh, right here um, so that's good and the uh, big thanks to telescreen 
the folks who make ScreenFlow. And let me go to their website. I'm sorry, Telestream. And uh, oh, look, I'm going to save 15 bucks today because I'm going to buy it today. Uh, I just have the trial version right now. So I will save that and uh, put it out um, uh, as soon as I have the updated version. Thanks.